excuse my face, I don't have any makeup on. But I'm still nostalgic. Oh, yeah. I'm going to take you on a transformation train. <laughs> We're gonna go from crunchy pastel weirdo to like crunchy emo weirdo. Right now I've got some nice pastel hues in there, which I'm not totally against. Like I always like having the pastels, but the pastels just aren't working out anymore because my roots are growing in really bad and I need to fix that immediately. But when you bleach your hair so many times, your hair starts to look like crunchy ramen noodles like this. Mm, that's why I haven't bleached my hair in so long and that's why my roots are like my whole hair almost. Let's take a gander. See? A lot of brown in there. Most of it is brown. So tasty. I haven't gotten rid of my colors in quite some time, but it's it just has to happen. That's just that. Not that black is like a natural color of hair, but it's kind of not a color color. It's technically a shade. So I'm not gonna have a color. I'm gonna have a shade and I'll be throwing all the shade I want with my shady hair. This pastel boy is about to be an emo boy. A pastel one. No, I'm not even a pastel one, just one. I want to set up a space that the hair dye will not mind getting all over. So like plastic bags, newspaper, whatever it is you gotta do, old towels, whatever. We don't want any sad mamas. There cannot be any sign of living in this house. You lay all that out evenly so you can cover the counter and there's no stains. Take some Aquaphor or whatever lubricant that is safe to put on your face and other places. <laughs> So that way you can prevent your skin from getting stained too. So you're gonna wanna line your ears, neck, and forehead, and anywhere else that you think you might get. You might wanna protect your hands with either gloves or some kind of other thing. A lot of the bottles of semi-permanent dyes will tell you that you have to wash your hair before you actually go ahead and apply the dye to your hair because the cuticle of your hair is blocked by all the like conditioning agents or oil or anything that you might have in your hair and it blocks the actual color from taking into your hair. So when you strip it of all that after shampooing, don't condition. After you shampoo though, it'll be in there and it'll go absorb all into that dry crunchiness and then it'll just take to that color and it'll be super smooth. Grab one of your handy dandy plastic bags and tie that around like a doodag. Cover your hair, make sure none of it's out of its place and let it sit there for anywhere between a half hour to two hours. That way it can sit there and you can make sure the color goes. I'm usually gonna go for like a solid hour and a half at least just cause I'm extra and kind of lazy so I don't wanna get up again for a little bit. This is my favorite part. It's the part where we shower. Shower time. Once you're ready, you can wash that out. You want to wash it out with cold water so that way the most minimum amount of hair dye comes off of your hair, but you do want to get at least the clumpy guck out so that way you're not blocking the hair follicles and you can breathe. Your scalp is a breathing thing, so let's let it do its thing. I'm kind of nervous. It's still a little wet. I'm going to do some blow drying, which is actually good because you're supposed to do heat after you dye your hair. Helps to set it in, I think. I'm not a professional. Don't reference me. I'm gonna put some heat protectant in before I go ahead and mess myself up. I think it looks like I covered everything. Oh, it just looks like a bunch of cigarette ash. Dried and fried. <laughs> Last time my hair was black, my hair was so healthy. So this is kind of like a reality check for me. I typically only go up to like 150. 200 that's all it takes to get my hair straight because it's already pretty straight 
I just basically straighten the ends and get any like little wackadoos like this out of my way. Reality is I didn't really change much, but I needed something to say to change my hair. And there you have it, that's just about the whole process. Give me an upwards facing thumb if you liked this video. Comment below what color your hair is and what you think of my black hair, if you want, please. Check the description below for all my other social media links. Subscribe by clicking my face, and I'll see you next time.